Glory be to Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Today, on August 19th, we celebrate the feast day of St. John Eudes. Not too many Catholics, at least not run-off-the-mill Catholics, are aware of how significant this man was, or is. He's primarily known for promoting devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. But what drew me to St. John Eudes, besides him being what is considered part of the French school of spirituality, is how he stressed the importance of continuing the life of Jesus on earth. For John Eudes, the baptized Christian, is nothing more than another Christ on earth. The only difference is, is that we are not divine by nature. Um, we are divine by the working of the Holy Spirit. But that the Holy Spirit calls us to be other Christs in the world. And one of the things he says is that uh, when the Christian prays in the Spirit, he is continuing, continuing Jesus' Christ's prayer on earth. And a work that he wrote is uh, the kingdom of Jesus Christ in the life of souls at least let me double check the title of that it is the the life excuse me let me scroll up a little bit this work um, the life and the kingdom of Jesus a treatise on the on Christian perfection for use by clergy or laity so the life and the kingdom of Jesus is a spiritual classic it is 218 pages long, at least this free version of it is. And it is just packed, literally packed with some of the most significant spiritual wisdom on how to live the Christian life. The thing I like most about it is that it's not limited to just moral theology. It isn't about just being good, but it is an invitation to allow Jesus Christ himself to live inside of you. As Saint pa and it's heavily Pauline in its, in its um, theology. That's what I love about it. I love how he constantly stresses that, the, that the, the Christian is nothing more than another Jesus on earth. I mean, just look at the way he starts this. Again, this is the English translation of the French. Jesus, I'm looking at uh, number one, where it says the Christian life must be a continuation of the most holy life which Jesus le led on earth. It says, Jesus, Son of God and Son of Man, King of angels and of men, is not only your God and your Savior and your sovereign Lord, but is also your head, and you are members of his body, as St. Paul says, of his flesh and of his bones. You are consequently united with him in the most intimate union possible, that is, the union of members with their head. You are united with him spiritually by faith and his body with yours in the Blessed Eucharist. It, is necess it necessarily follows that just as the members are animated by uh, the spirit of the head and live the same life so you must also be animated by the spirit of Jesus and live live his life walk his, in his ways be clothed with his sentiments and inclinations and perform all your actions in the dispositions and intentions that actuated his in a word you must carry on and perpetuate the life religion and devotion which he exercised on earth okay and then he goes on to provide a little scripture to back it up. He says, This doctrine rests upon a very solid foundation, for it receives confirmation repeatedly from the sacred words of him who is truth itself. Do you not hear him saying in several places in his gospel, I am the life. I am the life. I am, I am come that they may have life. You will not come to me that you may have life. I live, and you shall live, and that day you shall know. And so for John Eudes, if a Christian lives in obedience to God's commandments, then 
the Holy Spirit can empower him and enable him to be an instrument for Christ. It's as if Christ possesses that person and they become holy. They become unconditionally loving. I can't say that I'm quite there yet, but it would be such, it is such a, a an unforgettable experience when every now and then I experience that peace and joy that comes from obe being obedient to God's commandments. And then sometimes it feels as if I'm just naturally inclined to love other people and to say kind words and to forgive others. That's when I feel that I'm truly being animated by the Spirit of, of Jesus. And it it reverberates throughout the day. It just makes life so much more beautiful when I'm obedient to Christ so He can live within me. So that's really the message of John Judas. Even the devo devotion to the Sacred Heart, it's, it's a way to symbolically represent the life of Christ in your soul. That when you dwell on the center of Christ's being, and that center of Christ's being can become a part of you. And I would say that's pretty good news. So, I highly recommend you download this book, The Kingdom and Life of Jesus. The li Sorry, The Life and the Kingdom of Jesus. Download it, read it, pray it. It is absolutely phenomenal. St. John Judas, pray for us.